Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Every time you lose something, the feeling is not a good feeling. The difference between giving and losing is your willingness. When you give, you give willingly. When you lose things, they leave you outside of your consent and permission. Are we together now? If I give a hundred thousand naira, I did it consciously and so although it left me, there is joy because I understand that I sent it into my future on assignment. But when hundred thousand is stolen from me or leaves me, it pains me because it was not part of my plan. But as we know, this by the grace of God is a house of mysteries. And a mystery is a modus operandi, a, a system of operation. The kingdom operates on mysteries. And one of the mysteries that are available for the saints to be able to tap into the possibilities of God is the mystery of restoration. A provision in the dealings of God with men where men can get back things that they part with. This is the powerful thing about this our God that in his dealings with men when a thing leaves you it does not leave the earth and that there is a system that can call it back hallelujah I want to share with you four keys very quickly before we pray please aside from the maybe the minister stand let no seats be vacant um, if we have to share let's share let's do whatever we have to do it's a lot of sacrifice Key number one, you want to experience restoration in your life, you must believe that God is almighty. Now, hold on, don't, don't assume you understand what I just said. God is multifaceted in his operation. Everybody say multifaceted. When it comes to his dealings with man, he fragments himself into dimensions so that man can understand and can relate with him. Are we together? The excellency and the, the nature of God is such that until he breaks himself dimensionally, it becomes impossible for man to understand him. The dimensions of God are encapsulated in his names. They are a revelation of a dimension of what he can do. Are we together now? So Moses said, who shall I tell them has sent me? And he said, I am. Now that's a very serious statement. Because I am is not a name. I am is a manifesto. Are we together? Like a politician comes to tell you, this is what I can do. And so he says, who should I go and tell Pharaoh has sent me? What is your specialty, oh God? Are you a specialist in fertility? Are you a specialist in um, agriculture? Are you a specialist in making our crops grow? Are you a specialist in war? Are you a specialist in manipulating the constellations? And God said, I am. Go and ask Pharaoh. When they were teaching you, did you ever hear of any name in your curriculum called I am? In other words, 
I am only limited by what you think I can do. I am. I am. There's no limitation. All the other gods that they had seen were specialists in an area. And the gods did not dapple into their various offices. If you were a god responsible for agriculture, you stayed there. If you were a god responsible for protecting the people in the time of war, you stayed there. So Moses was saying, number what are you in that list of dimensions? And God said, me? No, I'm not one of the rest. I sit in a class all by myself. I am. Are we together now? Yes. But then when it comes to experiencing the manifested power of God, you must, you must, you, you must be able to invoke a dimension of him. You can't invoke all of God to be made manifest in a place. Now he feels everywhere. He feels all and in all. But when it comes to his operation, are we together? Yes. The same way um, Pastor Alpha, for instance, is not a husband to his children. He can't be a husband to his children. That possibility does not exist. Yet he's a husband. But that dimension is not permitted to be revealed to the children. They can only know him as father. But there is another personality who based on a, a type of alignment can see a dimension the children will not see. Now he can be a father to his wife. But he cannot be a husband to the children. So as far as the children know, we have a great man and he's a father and they stop there. But the wife has another dimension. Are we together? So when it comes to the dealings of God, God spreads his names and says, choose which of them. And you don't choose. Your faith is the selector. You look at the trouble and the challenges and the Holy Spirit helps you to reveal, to open to you all the dimensions of the possibilities that are in God. And through faith you pick out and say, God, I want you to arise as a man of war here. Lord, I want you to arise as a restorer. The dimension of God that is responsible for restoration is called El Gibo, the mighty one. There is a name he is called. Don't be careless about this understanding. El Gibor is a revelation. The mighty one. Many men in scripture um, were called mighty. Nimrod. Nimrod Kush was called mighty. Og, the king of Bashan, was called mighty. Goliath of God was called mighty. There were kings in ancient times that had fortifications and they were called mighty. But when you call him El Gibor, does not come as a gentle dove. El Gibor means it is like one who comes to make a statement. That's why we started that scripture. That those who pray upon you shall become a prey. Remember the Bible says you cannot enter a place except you have capacity to bind a strong man. So you must believe that God is almighty. Jeremiah 32 verse 17. Two scriptures quickly. Jeremiah 32 and verse 17. Thank you, Jesus. 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heavens and the earth. How? By thy great power. And stretch out arm, and there is nothing too hard for you. That's El Gibor, the mighty one. It is within his power. Lord, I know it's one thing for God to be willing to step into your life. It's another thing to believe he possesses that dimension. Are we together now? Yes. In Isaiah chapter 9, I think he has 9 verse um, 4, 5, 6. Give us verse 6. Isaiah 9, 6. Isaiah began to prophesy the names that this great God will be called. Now manifest in the flesh, in the person of Jesus. And he said, he shall be called. His name shall be, number one, wonderful counselor. Not wonderful, comma, counselor. Wonderful counselor as a description. Number two, he says, please, um, the mighty God. There is a dimension. He is not just a wonderful counselor. He can be the mighty God. The same one is an 
the everlasting father the same God is the Prince of Peace he can reveal several of these dimensions for you tonight we want to see the mighty God El Kibor, the one who can arise and help the helpless the one who can arise and intimidate every force and every situation that defies his name in your life number two the second key to releasing restoration in your life is joy joy expressed in perfected praise joy that is expressed in and through perfected praise there is nonsense praise there is carnal praise there is devilish praise there is perfected praise it says out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained praise thou hast perfected praise perfected praise is ordained praise praise with an anointing on it like you ordain a man and the man changes your praise can be anointed and it can sustain an ability to become a weapon an instrument of breakthrough an instrument of judgment joy is a very powerful mystery in the bible habakkuk chapter 3 when you read from verse 17 to 19 the bible begins to describe what looks like the life of many believers habakkuk chapter 3 17 to 19 although the fig tree shall not blossom neither shall fruit be in the vines the labor of the olive shall fail and the field shall yield no meat the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall not be heard in the stalls what is my response yet yet everybody say yet in spite of what it is that I'm seeing in spite of what seems to be my situation now I demonstrate my trust in God I demonstrate my faith in his person and ability by rejoicing yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will joy in the God who is able to save me the God of my salvation I will joy your joy is 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 in hope I will joy in the God of my salvation joy is very powerful and the clearest way to express joy is in praise ordained praise perfected praise Psalms 42 and verse 5 please very powerful scripture Psalm 42 and verse 5 it says why art thou cast down all my soul and why art thou disquieted in me? It says, hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. My awareness that it is within his power to help me is what makes me to praise him. Like someone comes before a king and you praise that king knowing that he's a benevolent king. He says, Lord, I have learned something about your countenance that my help is in your countenance you can smile on me that's what we call favor and so I dance and so I praise brothers and sisters listen it's dawning on the body of Christ afresh the age-long neglected mystery of cheap breakthrough this mystery of praise it's been chorused by several men of God for several years but I'm glad that the body of Christ is suddenly it's like a veil that is being torn and they are realizing that sorrow, lamentation, languishing, regrets, negative confessions, all of these things are programming men towards disaster. And people are learning to be spiritual now. Understanding that praise is not just about music. Dancing is not just about shaking your body. We are beginning to extract the revelation from these experiences. And it's now returning life to the mystery. Because you see, it's revelation that gives life to a mystery. A mystery can become a religious practice when there is no life. It is your understanding, the construction of your belief as you engage that mystery that makes it alive and capable of producing results. Even the word of God, the Bible says, can be made of no effect. Praise the Lord. Your giving. 
can be made of non-effect. Your tithing can be made of non-effect. It is not the activity but the understanding that sponsors what you do that gives life to the revelation. That's why the Bible says in all your getting, it says get understanding. Praise. Praise is a powerful mystery in the spirit. Those who have defied circumstances and said life will not make me cry for sorrow again. Those are the people who have stamped the gates of hell forever. I made up my mind as a person that if ever tears will come out of my eyes, it will be tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. I have grown old enough in the spirit for the devil to not make me look helpless. Listen, believers, let me teach you how to frustrate Satan. Rejoice regardless of the circumstances. The Bible says rejoice evermore. Again, I say rejoice. Satan walks in the realm of the flesh. It's his domain. So he studies the effect of situations on your faith. He studies the effect of situations on your convictions. All of a sudden you find out that there's a pain on your leg and he's studying your response. He's seeing how you are frowning at God and sending a text message to everybody. I don't know how my life is. You just finish a prayer seminar or a word seminar discussing the faithfulness of God. You just had a morning devotion learning that God is faithful and then a situation dwindles your belief to a point where you can almost curse God. Our generation is full of angry people and we do not know that our anger and the sadness of our countenance is a programming. We are programming our environment to be conducive for the activities of demons. Apostle, do you know what it means to look for a child's coofies? Which of you by frowning can add a single naira to his bank account? see that one of the first signs of depression is the inability to communicate with joy when people are depressed they sit down they are gloomy they look older than their age and that's exactly what the devil wants you want restoration you must believe and you must start rejoicing 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 most times when you see people happy and rejoicing don't think it's because everything has manifested physically. You'd be lying. Are we together? Yes. Most times when you see people happy, they say, why are you always smiling? It's like you're not in Nigeria. Babe. You wake up in the morning and walk around the streets of our city and you find angry people, angry bus conductors, angry drivers, angry employees, angry students. Someone just gets up in the morning and is angry. He sees you laughing and he's just angry at it. Say, I will rejoice. Being joyful is a choice for you now because the Holy Spirit, the custodian of that joy is already it's called the joy of the Holy Ghost. You can choose. I have, I have made up my mind to program my environment to always project joy. Because in the realm of the spirit, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. If you lack joy, you lack strength. And the Bible says, for with joy shall you draw. Joy is a fetcher in the realm of the spirit. With it you draw from the wells of salvation. Are we together? There are people outside, you can imagine, in the rain, but define it. Some persons may be there and the devil will want to just make you feel angry and say, my husband or my wife delayed me, I would have been inside now. But I want, I want you to rejoice. When you rejoice, you paralyze, you paralyze. Um, in fact, the Bible says a merry heart is therapeutic. A merry heart doeth good in the similitude of medicine. The same way a patient takes medicine and it begins to work on him. He says in that similitude, a merry heart, just being happy can keep you healthy, alive. Say, I will rejoice. Say it again, I will rejoice. And it only comes alive every time I hear your voice. It comes alive every time I hear your voice. There's a joy in my heart. In spite of all the sadness, 
that surrounds me and the joy that's in my heart only comes So what should I do when I hear bad news? Lock yourself. Put on a song of worship. Don't mind the tears as they roll. Don't mind what you hear. Begin to celebrate. What happens if the brother said he will not marry me again? I know you are human, but you are also spiritual. Whatever dimension you permit is what find expression. What if I thought I would get the job and the job is not coming? Dance and celebrate. The one who woke me up can give me a job. The one who gave me strength to write the aptitude test, although I failed, he's still alive. Listen, I'm not telling you what I don't do. I have already danced all the miracles of this miracle service. I've already rejoiced it. I didn't just pray it. I spent the night forcing your healing to arrive here. I can guarantee you it arrived. Because both the parcel and the deliverer are not mysteries. We know them. <laughs> ah! May you lose the ability to wrinkle yourself to old age just because of this, this thing around. No, no. Choose to be things are not like that yet. Tomorrow, by 9 o'clock, my landlord is coming. My landlord has already told me, you can go to church, but 9 o'clock is me that will wake you in the morning. Lord, what should I do? Even if you cry, he's still coming. So why don't you rejoice? Are we together? So I thought that my son, you know, would, 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 my son would, would get a very nice job. I thought he was working only to find out that he's been five years without a job. We are dying in this family. Apostle, I did not even eat. I came here hungry. Brothers and sisters, it's joy that will put food in that plate. Your anger is pushing that plate far from you. So bring it closer by rejoicing. a very big God who is always by my side, a mighty God by my side. wasting our time. This is the foolishness that brought us thus far. Hallelujah. I don't like dancing. I don't know how to dance. The Bible said to whom much is given, much is given. Even if all I do is this way, God knows is a is my windows might have with all my heart. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Some of you, some of you you know what you did after you took one bottle of beer when you were in the world. So we just have two minutes, Sam. In two minutes, I want us to share this place. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes.
Let me have your attention. I just want to explain something. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yes, yes. Take it easy. When it's time to shout, you shout. When it's time to listen, let's listen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. If we, if when it's time to shout, we shout together. But when it's time to listen, let's listen so that we can allow God to step in. Before you sit down, I just want to tell you something. Listen. You see, most times, most times, the difference between carnality and spirituality is not necessarily the action, it's the revelation. The same way someone can just shout and waste his time and just a show of youthfulness, another person can shout with revelation and that alone can be tequila. The shout that will bring down Jericho. Are we together? Now, I know that we just took two or three minutes singing and dancing and jumping before the Lord. I want you to know that God is not a man. Please have this revelation. Are we together? Some of you, you will sit down now and check and find out that certain situations have gone. Some of you, in that, in that, in that rejoicing, you will be amazed to know the release of angels and the ministry spirits going to correct situations in your life. You must believe this. Hallelujah. Please be seated for a minute. Let me just tie it up and we'll pray. My spirit is fired up. This praise did something to me. Joy. Joy. Brothers and sisters, learn this. Be ever joyful. Don't jump today and dance and rejoice. And five minutes later, after service, you are frowning and acting as though it's not God that you came to meet again. Make it a disposition. Not just an emotional thing that happened in the night. The third key, very quickly, that provokes restoration in the life of a man is sacrifice. Key number three, sacrifice. Let me tie it quickly so that we can pray. Sacrifice, First Kings 17 from verse 7. Or oh, really, verse, verse, verse 1, to, 1 to 6. First Kings 17, we read. Or if we do not have time, 17. And it came to pass after a while, he said that the brook dried up because there had not been rain. Read on. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, go down to Zarephath, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow to sustain you. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water. Number one, she's a widow. Number two, trying to gather sticks. Obviously, Elisha knew that it was a time of famine. Are we together now? It will look as though Elijah just came to help himself. But a woman is about to receive breakthrough. A woman is about to receive. Only God knows what happened. A widow meant that she lost her husband. And several other things would have left her life. And then, that I may drink. Verse 11. And as she was going to fetch it, he called her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but an handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. Hear what the prophet says. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said. Make that sacrifice. I know that it is not convenient for you, but I'm standing here representing God to step into your life and command restoration, breakthrough. But I'm demanding something from you. In this case, that which is valuable to you now. Make me kick first. Bring it unto me and afterwards you will make for you and your son. Listen. I wish, I wish that what I were saying would just happen without sacrifice. Restoration will cost you. You will have to provoke your faith. 
A seed is not just money. A seed is a sacrifice of something that costs. It's a proof that you love God. Whenever what you have is about to finish, there is a system to refill it again. In this case, he demanded sacrifice of her. Listen, a sacrifice in the realm of the spirit automatically brings whoever is doing it into a covenant with God. Psalm 50 verse 5, it says, Gather unto me my saints, they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. This is why many believers never experience restoration. Why will you as a man of God come and meet a woman? Please, brothers and sisters, I want you to reason this. You look at someone who is about to dry, nothing is happening in her life, and then you are asking her to sacrifice something. Jesus was having a crusade. He was the organizer and the conveyor of the crusade. And then he said, go and feed the people, and there was nothing. And then... Andrew found a young lad. You would call it bullying. Our generation knows how to abuse words. You would even call it an abuse. Collected the boy's loaf and bread, his lunchbox, and took it to Jesus. And said, this is what we've been able to find. And Jesus said, fine. I thought Jesus was Abba, so, such a harsh and wicked adult. You mean you bully this? Go and return it back. I am love. But Jesus said, that's it. Have you always wondered who had the remaining 12 baskets? The boy was willing to sacrifice a moment of satisfaction to create something. Many believers do not know how to sacrifice now to smile. This is a principle that does not just go to seeds alone. Sacrificing the convenience, luxury today, so that you can carry an anointing and a grace that will be able to speak tomorrow. Sacrificing today to discipline yourself and learn the principles that will make you successful. You want to experience restoration and indeed it's a principle that applies to many mysteries in the spirit. Sacrifice. A few minutes ago you were shouting and now Koinonia is quiet. Why? Because it's a reflection of your unwillingness to part with things today and gain them tomorrow. If you want to be great, listen to me. If you want to defy the limitation that comes with this system, get used to this language, sacrifice. You will always give up something to go up. You won't hold what you have and still rise. The lighter you are, the higher you fly. Are we together? Sacrifice. Praise can be a sacrifice. Your seed can be a sacrifice. Your service in the house of God can be a sacrifice. Your honor to the vessels of God can be a sacrifice. You want to experience restoration. Listen, let me teach you something powerful about restoration. The blessing is not in what you have lost. The blessing is in what you have left. There's a very strange story in the Bible. I think it's in the book of Hosea or Amos. That a shepherd was trying to rescue a lamb that had been eaten by a lion. The lion so ate the lamb that there was nothing left. Only one ear and two legs. That was all that was left. Yet the shepherd still ran to still rescue the lamb. What will you do with one ear and two legs? Eating the intestines, eating all of this. But in the realm of the spirit, it is not what left you that is the issue. It is what you have left. What you have left is a sign that God is still interested in restoration. That's why everything did not go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Most times we forget what we have left and we keep regretting. Oh God, this one left me. A relationship left you but your health is still with you. That health can be the seed that will bring back another relationship. 
Your job left you, but your praise did not leave you. That praise can be a sacrifice that will bring another job. Are you getting the, the way this thing works? There is always something you have in your life that can bring back something you lost. There is always something you have in your life that can bring back something you lost. Listen, let me repeat myself. There is always something in your life that you have today that can bring back something you lost. Hallelujah. Yes. You had a miscarriage and you are crying and saying, Lord, this is the fourth miscarriage. You lost the baby, sad, but by the grace of God, you are still alive and you can speak. Use your health as a seed to get another child. The health that you have dedicated to praising God as a seed of sacrifice. Apostle, but I lost my father, he's gone. I lost my mother, she's gone. I lost my brother, he's gone. I understand and I sympathize with you deeply from the depth of my heart. But you are the seed that is left. Use yourself and your life to gain back what your father would have been and what your mother would have been. Everything they would have been to you. Sowing that seed of sacrifice. Someone can appear in your life and say, I may not be your biological father, but I take responsibility for your life from today. No strings attached. There is such a possibility. Are we together? Yes. They killed several children. The nation of Israel was under threat. And a woman carried her son as a seed and put him in a river just said, Lord, just protect this guy. And God said, that son that you gave as a seed, I will use him as the deliverer to preserve them. Whenever you are afraid of losing things, you open the door for losses. That which I have feared most has come upon me. There are many of us, you are so afraid of losing things that you, you fear success when it comes because you think it will not last. Anytime good things happen, you are careful. A brother comes to propose to you and you are saying, well, I said yes, but the truth is I've not said yes first. I've had 10 people break my heart. That's what happened to the woman who met Jesus. Six husbands, five men shattered her heart. The sixth one is not even her husband and Jesus came. So she was careful. And Jesus said, me, I'm not like the rest though. And gave her an encounter. She became an evangelist instantly. Went and gathered people and said, come. What of the madman at Gadara? Do you know there was a time that man had his sense back? There was a time he was born. There was a day they dedicated him. There was a day the madness started gradually until he got to that acute state where even chains could no longer hold him. He was in a cave all by himself. So when they crossed over to the other side, demons came through him, but Jesus had compassion. He was seeing a man who had potentials to be an evangelist, to win 10 cities, yet he was under that situation. And Jesus said, we can do something. Now, when you read your Bible, I don't want us to turn there, but even with those demons, the Bible says the man worshipped Jesus. The remaining 1% sense that I have, the demons are making me look like I don't recognize you, but that ounce of sanity, I sow it as a seed and I worship you. And Jesus said, all right, all of you people trying to mess up this guy's life, you can go places, but let this guy be restored. The Bible says they came and they found him in his perfect mind. He went to the Decapolis, 10 cities, gathered people and brought them to Jesus. The miracle is not in what you have left. I know that whilst you're sitting right now, there is a fibroid in your stomach. But can you use your mouth as the seed to take away that fibroid? Your stomach was affected, but you still have a voice. You can sing. You still have an ear. Your ear can be the seed, the sacrifice of attentiveness to listen to the word of the Lord can restore you. No man is ever helpless if you understand the mystery of seeds and sacrifices. Every time things leave you, forget about them. Focus on what you have left. Lord, I give you all your praise. I lost
lost my job, lost my wife, lost my children. I'm all alone. And God says, that's all you need. You are alone with me like Jacob. Use your aloneness as a seed. Sow it and receive an encounter. An encounter that will bring them again. Job understood this. He lost everything in his life. The only thing he had was his conviction. And the wife said, lose that one too. So, why are you talking like one of these foolish women? How else will he come back? Job said, though he slay me, I have lost my health, but I have not lost my voice. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Elihu and all and co were talking all kinds of nonsense. Job came listening to them. And in chapter 42, Job said, well, I may not be able to give as I used to be, but I still have my mouth. I can be an intercessor. 42 verse 10, he started interceding for his friends. And God said, this is it. He turned his life around. And God turned the captivity of Job, 42 verse 10, when he prayed for his friends. Listen, there is always something in your life that can bring back something that left you. If this is the only revelation you have tonight, you will rejoice. Go back home and stop tear all of those sheets of papers that are archives of regrets and start writing what you have left. I still have my convictions. I lost a job, but I still have my certificate. Are we together now? I lost my car, but my hands are still working well. I didn't die in the accident. And when you put all those things, you say, Lord, I laid this at the altar of sacrifice. I tell you to bring back everything and everything. Sacrifice. Number four, very quickly. The fourth key to restoration is engaging the prophetic. The fourth key to restoration engaging the prophetic specifically prophetic utterances let me show you three scriptures that will bless you tonight Isaiah 42 verse 22 please give it to us media Isaiah 42 verse 22 but this is a people robbed and spoiled all of them are snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and non deliverance, for a spoil. And there is no advocate that prophesies to them, restore. For you to ever experience restoration, there must be the introduction of the prophetic into your life. The prophetic, the prophetic. Either as an operation of the word of God or as a ministry of those anointed to walk in that respect. You have to understand what I'm teaching you. Without an encounter with a prophetic grace, a prophetic office, or a, a prophetic dimension of the word of God, there is no restoration. It's impossible. Second scripture, Psalm 119 verse 49. I found this scripture while I was studying and I felt it was very powerful and um, it would be great for us to see it. Psalm 119 verse 49. It says, Remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. Give us an amplified. I want to explain to you what this scripture said. Remember fervently the word and promise to your servant in which you caused me to hope. In other words, the man of God came and told you he has a covenant with God and said God made a promise to him that when he stands and does certain things, he will hear him. And you are now saying, Lord, remember when that man of God spoke to me that something about his altar and his covenant can bring me break to I believed it. And he said, remember the word, the promise you gave your servant upon which I now hope that it will work for me. That's why sometimes you hear people say the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of Oyediko. So there is, it's not some religious, you know, whatever it is. It is a system of invoking the personal covenant. God, aside from the Old and the New Testament, God has personal covenants with men till today. God can enter a covenant with a man, a family, because of something that was done and say, look, whoever does certain things connected to this, I will bless you. 
God had a covenant with Abraham. Listen. And anybody and anything that came out of Abraham. A sad story later happened. And then Ishmael came out. When Ishmael came out, the Bible says Hagar, Hagar and Ishmael were in the wilderness. Two of them were crying. Only the voice of Ishmael was heard in heaven. Why? The Bible says God heard the voice of the young lad. A child is crying. The mother is crying. Only one voice is heard in heaven. Because God said, Abraham, you and anybody and anything that comes out of you. It's not God's concern whether it was a mystic or not. He is bound to it. It is still the reason why Ishmael today can still manifest certain dimensions of the blessing. Remember. The last scripture. Second Kings. Let's look at chapter 7. Actually, the whole is, is Elisha's encounter in Samaria, chapter 6, 7. But we're looking at chapter 7, just two scriptures. Second Kings, chapter 7, we'll read verse 1 and then we'll read verse 18. And Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. This is the prophetic now. Samaria as a nation was ravaged by so much famine that the Bible says women were eating their children. Mothers, please think for a minute. Think of roasting the leg of your child and watching it roast and yet not being afraid. I've heard of people drinking their urine because of test, but I've not heard of people eating their children. So Nigeria's recession is not as bad as it was here. The Bible says women, as compassionate as they were, were eating the same children. Eating your child is like eating yourself. The child came out of you. It's the same thing as cutting yourself and eating it. And this is what happened. And the prophet came and said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Listen. He said tomorrow. About this time. Shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley for a shekel. In the gate of Samaria. Look at me. Let me teach you something profound. The miracle. This tomorrow. Was not something God revealed to the prophet. And said that's what I want to do. The, uh, the prophet chose the date. When that land will be delivered. Listen. This is not revelation. It didn't say God revealed to me. In other words, I'm just giving you a superior information. There is a difference between revelation and creation. Revelation just gives you a prior knowledge of what is there anyway. Creation makes it appear and manifest. Like the testimony of our dear lady who goes to her room and sees piles of money, physical cash. Now that's creation. Revelation is I can stand here and say there is a brown envelope in your room. Go and check it. I didn't put it there. I only helped to guide you so you go and find it. This prophet was not creating. This prophet, I mean, he was not revealing. He was creating. He says, look, I understand that part of the privileges of prophetic ministry is to appoint to people dates. The realm of the spirit has events without dates tied to them. It takes the prophetic to appoint dates. That's why through the prophetic ministry, you can go into five years ago, pick an event that would have been your testimony that was corrupted through witchcraft and fast forward it and appoint a date in your future to make it happen. You have to believe this. Otherwise, how does God restore years? Are we together now? Time is only subject to this realm. The realm of the spirit is a compendium of happenings that are manipulated by the will of God and the intelligence of citizens on the earth who know how to make it happen. So there are events that represent the will of God. There are certain dimensions of his will that are fixed according to his predetermined counsel. But there are others that are flexible left to the intelligence of the saints. Such as your miracle today. It's not God that decided that today will be your miracle. You would have chosen to remain at home. 
Jesus was passing a city called Nain. Are we Bible students? It was never his plan to raise any dead body. He was minding his business. He was not on evangelism. And he saw people crying. And then he said, what's going on here? And they said, there is a woman ravaged by witchcraft. Her husband that dead, her only son dead. And Jesus said, wait a minute, bring down that coffin. There and then, he decided the destiny of that woman. Brothers and sisters, hear me. This issue of one day, one day is faithlessness. You can insist. The Bible says today, if you hear his voice, you can choose and say, Lord, today, today, I'm tired of this hangover of nonsense around my life. Today is the day your faith can turn it around and bring you a miracle. You believe that? Say amen. amen. Listen, you are the only one who continues to progress in time. The realm of the spirit does not progress in time. The time is bare. Are we together now? So in the realm of the spirit, you don't, there's no such thing as past and present with God. So when you say God, remember five years ago, you said you would do something and you did not do it. God said it doesn't make any difference. It can still happen. And you say, Lord, but I'm older now. God says, and so I can readjust it to still fit the older you. Lord, you gave me a word that I will marry at 21, I'm 35. And God says, no problem, I can't do it. Lord, I plan to have six children. God says, it doesn't make any difference. Six years, two, two years with twins. My word has come to pass. Lord, you said you would prosper me, but this has not happened. I would have gotten a job. How much was the salary that time? 20,000. How much would you have had now? 1.2. God says, I give you an idea. That brings you 2.4 in one month. Listen, please, you have to believe what I'm telling you. Otherwise, we're wasting our time here. The prophetic is powerful. It can appoint dates for spiritual events and cause them to be made manifest. You've seen this happen in Koinonia. Somebody will write jam, for instance, and have 160 something. And all of a sudden, a word will come and you go and check it again and see 260 something. How do you explain that? Someone writes an exam and just remembers writing his name alone or question one. And then comes and a word comes and result comes out and is in 4.8. Oh, please, brothers and sisters, we are intelligent people, but we are also spiritual. Never allow your intelligence take away the place of the realm of the spirit in your life. The same way you are seated here and say, Apostle, can God do it? Brothers and sisters, he can. Look at my life. Look at this ministry. The word of God. Can God cure that sickness? Yes, he can. I repeat, yes, he can. Can God turn around my captivity? Some of you are not sick. But what is wrong with you is better sickness than that problem. God can still turn it around. God can turn it around. In the name of Jesus, God can turn it around. The Lord declared and said, I shall announce to us that this miracle service is dedicated towards restoration. I truly believe every word of God. And I believe that one of the things God is going to be doing tonight is to call back things. Compress time for people. Call back things. Please believe it. Believe it. Believe it. I am a testimony. I've seen God bless people overnight. Overnight. Ha! He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Sometimes life can whip you to a point where you look up and say, God, I have served you. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't rob anybody. Why is my life like this? Then God tells you, locate the power of prophecy. Locate the power of prophecy. Some of you didn't want to come tonight. You can come and still look and say, wow, what an interesting service. Or you can come and say, Lord, it is within your power to change this situation. Why should we pro prolong it? It's within your power. It's within your power. You've seen the testimonies. We never announce anything here that is not verified. You've seen all the great testimonies. No matter.
matter what is wrong with your life, your ministry has crashed down. You were once on fire and once anointed, and something happened. You can't tell what it is, but that grace and that unction doesn't look like it's there again. You are preaching, and even you, you know you are not blessing anybody. Again, like the hair of Samson, it can come back again. My help. There's no one to take care of me. Listen, let me tell you the truth. There are many fathers and mothers. Prophecy just needs to bring two of you together. Tonight, if you believe what I'm teaching you, you will be amazed to see the way the Lord will turn your life around. Turn your life around. Apostle, I was pregnant. Now I'm seated here and just give me a few minutes and watch a miracle that will bring tears from your eyes. I believe God. I am one man of God that believes God can turn around any situation. It will always be like the Lord will perfect that concerning me soon or jobs are finished. A job is not with any government. A job is in the word of God. Listen to me. Don't cry. No. Stop that tears. It's a weak knot. When the book is open, tears will stop. God didn't gather you here. Some of you traveled so far. There are some of you standing in the, in the rain, standing outside. God is too faithful to come and waste your time. In the next few minutes, I want you to believe this. Please listen, listen. Don't be part of those. Now is not the time to pinch around and hope. Will God do it? Apostle, I lost money. Apostle, I lost joy. Apostle, I lost a job. They blackmailed me. able to restore. And let me tell you something. God can restore fast. He can restore fast. 430 years in captivity. One night God said that's all. When God arises, El Gibor, the mighty man, when he shakes himself and stands up and says, I want to leave David down, let me tell you, I don't care what which way. I have seen God lift people who were not even prepared. I ju he just chose that I want to make a specimen with this person. It doesn't take time. It doesn't take time. We're about to pray. I came here with all my heart, believing that God will restore somebody. If you belong to any of these categories, except you've not lost anything, you can sit down. But if you know there is something in your life that you know must come back, I'm not saying may come back, it's not a discussion. lost my joy, can't come back. I've lost my peace, can't come back. I lost my husband. God can fetch him wherever he is and return him. Hallelujah. Listen, we're going to pray for a few minutes. It will be very fast. I don't plan to waste our time here. We're going to be very fast. The message is already complicated. It's not when I start ministry. As soon as we start praying, I like you, please, if you have never believed a man of God in your life, why don't you do this? Just, just be childlike for once and say, Lord, I believe the word of your servant. I open up my heart. I want you to open your mouth and call things 
things back into your life. Call opportunities. This atmosphere is anointed. Call them. Still in the
very fast. I'm seeing shoes in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is telling me people will wear them now. This is a sign of restoration too. Lord, where are they? Let it happen now. There is a grace for performance. Grace for performance. Please bring them out quickly. Please, ushers, you should know this. We are saving time. Please, quickly. He says, grace for performance right now.
talking about the past. Let's look at me. The past has a way of wanting to relieve itself in your present. You think about your failure of primary school. Now you are a graduate, but it has still sponsored your lack of confidence. In the name that is above all, it's one more time I pray. Anyone here still connected to his past? I come in the name of Jesus, the one whom I serve. I provoke an anointing from heaven. forgetting. I know you failed but forgetting. There is a spirit that keeps the past alive. So when you want to move it still reminds you. This one thing I do forgetting the things that are behind. The Bible says there is no man who stands on a block and looks back to his feet. Remember Lot's wife. She was connected to the past. Her exodus had begun to come. And they were asked to look, set their face like a flint. Looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher. And while she was there, something about her past. And just for turning back, she became salt. The past can keep you in one place forever. Just because she turned back, she became salt. What is there in turning back? Everything. It can stagnate your life forever. I prophesy one more time. Whatever has made you to that has made you to distrust any man that comes into your life because when they come you think they are like the ones who came before a past job, a past breakthrough a past wife a whatever it is has stopped many people from moving forward every time you see success it looks like the way you rejoiced yesterday before failure came so you are even afraid of it no for your business, then it crashed. Now God sends a helper. He's giving you 500,000. Instead of receiving it, he's reminding you of yesterday's failure and you are afraid. You are afraid of embracing your future because you think it will look like your past. In the name of Jesus Christ, I once again separate you from your past. asking me to pray for people who nothing is working in their lives. Listen, this is a very serious prayer. I want you to believe this. There are people here as they are standing. Believe me when I say nothing is working. There are some, some aspects are working. We are still coming here. But the Lord is asking me to address issues. Some of you as you are standing here, inside and outside, online, if you will be honest with yourself, nothing is working. From marriage to finance to job to academics to life to health, everything is down. I want to pray for you. Everyone lift your hands. The truth is, you, you won't know it's the prayer that will tell you. Because you may think things are working. I want to pray for you. Inside and outside, especially overflow too. The one and the other. I'm just seeing rings of fire. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this. Category. 
category of people that nothing is working for. Some of you represent your families. Right now, in the name of Jesus, may that fire come upon you now and bring you breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Nothing is working. I cause it. I cause the spirit. for others till it gets to your top. Simple things that should open up, don't open up. Right now in the name of Jesus, I direct an auction to your life and destiny. And I command you now, in the name of Jesus, by the ministry of the Spirit, be free from this evil. Be free from this evil. There is a family and the family people are here. I stretch my hands. Let the power of God locate them now. Let the power of God locate them now. Let the power of God locate them now. You see, brothers and sisters, these are the things that stop you from experiencing results. My brother, come. Salvation has come. Come and stand here. Pray to pray for you. Look at me. Hold on. This is your first time coming here. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit. You belong to this category I'm talking about. Nothing is working. Huh? Even finances is the grace of God. Where are you coming from? Um, hold on. Please help that the ushers to help them. Are you Yoruba? You are Yoruba? Yes, sir. From Akure State? Yes, sir. Where are you from? Odo, Odo State. Odo is what? This is what I'm saying. Akure or Odo. That's what. You are coming from Akure. Yes, sir. And because I'm seeing a car, and that's where you are coming from. Where are you coming from now? Akure. That's what I'm saying. The Lord is going to change your life totally right now. Who is Lake Listen, just one touch from the Lord to change your story, lift your hands. Lay come, overflow, he's in the overflow, where are you? Please stand up, my brother, stand up. What's your name? Lay come, sir. From where? Ekiti State, sir. Stand here, your life is about to change. Look at him, sir. The Lord will do you a miracle. Lady wearing this this lime thing, God is not done with you. I've seen an angel pouring oil on her. This one's handy. Huh? Help her. God is not done. I'll come to you shortly. We're going to do this very fast. Hopefully, before by the grace of God, between now and the end of the day, we'll convert one of the miracle service to a vigil. It's not just prayer. By God's grace, I will trust God for grace to prophesy upon our lives. I will go section by section, inside and outside. Prophecy is powerful when it's done with understanding. It can wipe your tears in one minute. Lift your hands. You are laid up. I'm going to pray for you. Oh, is it Augustus? Yes, Augustus or August? Something that has been Augustus. Augustus or something. Augustus. I'm hearing like Augustus, please. We have to finish fast because we're going to pray for this. Augustus. Change the story. Jesus. Something just left you. You are sick. That sickness has gone now. In the name of Jesus. in life by hustling. You make it in life by divine direction. This is what God is saying. What's your name? 
Just bring them, but the name I hear is Augustus, but I will pray for you something, Augustus. My brother, hold my hands. This is not about hustling. Huh? It's not moving around. It's walking circumspectly by the Spirit and the grant you grace. Hold my hands. The Lord will wipe your tears in the name of Jesus and bring this oppression to an end. That man holding pictures, run, come. Your breakthrough has come. Run, run, come. Stand here. Where are you coming from? I'm looking at you. You are not in Zaria. From Kano State. You are from Kano State. Who is this? No, no, I'm not. I'm looking at your picture. My mom. What's wrong with her? Nothing is wrong with her. She gave me something for you. Your mom is sick. You don't know something is wrong with her. Hold on, please. If they are manifesting, just leave them there. Please, let's be fast. I want to pray for you. One. She's my sister too. This is your sister. Yes. If I don't pray, I'm seeing this girl inside the coffee. Where is she? She's in Kano. Is she well? Yes. She's well. Yes. We have to pray for her. One of your sisters is sick. Yes. Sir. Is that true? Yes, Where sir. is she? She's in Kano. She's in Kano. The same thing happening to that one is about to happen to this one. Do I know you? That's what I'm telling you. God wants to change this thing now. Yes. You are a sincere person. Now, what do you do? I'm a banker. Sir. You are a banker. I will pray for you. So that they will not cause trouble and steal money and you in your group. There's already trouble. Yes. Is yes, that sir. true? Yes, sir. In your office. Yes, sir. And if I don't pray for you, they are going to sack you by August. I want to pray for you. Correct, sir. August. Yeah. That's what stand up. That's what they're doing. Hold it. If I don't pray for you by August, you are leaving at once. But there is a God. There is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven. Come, sir. I don't know you, and I don't know how your mother got to know me, but your mother loves me with all her heart. Is that true? Yes, sir. I want you to tell your mother that her son is blessing her from his heart. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. I'll pray for you, sir. Huh? Because you people have to be careful. There is a group, this bank group. All of you have problems. They are going to make you to pay some amount of money that is missing. And they are going to drive all of you. You need the mercy of God. Huh? Yes, and for your sister, this is witchcraft. God is coming in to step in. You're a very nice person to come in. In the name of Jesus. The same thing God is delivering you for is what is delivering the person shouting here. Let it turn now. I lay my hands upon you. Ugechuku. Is it Ugechuku or Ugechuku or something? In the name of Jesus, I speak favor. Sir, look at me. As I laid my hands on you, I saw you climbing a ladder. Watch this. This is how you will stand here in Koinonia to testify. Listen. I want everybody to look at this brother very well. Know his face. Because he's going to come and stand here and testify of a dramatic breakthrough that God is bringing to his life. Is it Ugochuku or Ugochuku? Which of you came from Southern Canada? You come and stand. Your miracle has come. Jesus. Stand up, sir. What do you do? Watch with the MC, Kefi. Federal Medical Center. Yes, Kefi. I want to pray for you. If God were to do one thing for you, what will it be? You're a wise man. I want to pray for you. God is going to lift you. Do you know that the hand of God is upon your life? Not just for, like, hand of God, even to tell people about Jesus Christ. There is an evangelistic grace on yes. your life. Yes. God has revealed it to you. Yes. You know it. I've been doing that. I was together in your program, uh, in soup. Two days program, you came at KF. Oh, you were there the, at yes, the meeting. You were out. part of the committee people yes. there. Yes. Because I see a man that God will use greatly in outreaches. I'm seeing signs and wonders. God will use you greatly. So I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let an anointing, something will come upon you now. I tell you, you will rise up from this night and begin to walk miracles like you held the champ. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, the same thing is happening to that person. I release that grace. I activate your spirit, man. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. There is a spirit troubling this brother. Stand up. Come. Lift your hands. Let him go now. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ. He came to receive impartation. What you need is deliverance first. There is a, a spirit that is oppressing you. Mama, can I talk to you, ma? Please. Where are you coming from, madam? Abuja. You believe that God is going to change your story. In the name of Jesus, you will. I want to pray for you. Please hold my hand because the Lord said, I should bless you. The Lord said, I should bless you. There is, I'm seeing, I'm seeing one. Kai. The Lord is showing me the vision of a lady. I'm looking at this table and I'm seeing, I'm not seeing a table. I'm seeing a lady. You are wearing like blue, a blue cloth with her tie. You are crying now, cleaning your tears. And you are asking the Lord that I will locate you. You are inside here. No, you are wearing blue. No. No. I will pray for you. The person is coming. You want something. Who is that? You tied your head with. Madam, run and come. You are the one I'm talking about. I will pray for you. Look at me. Where were you sitting? Where, was she inside here? Yes, sir. Where, is, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Kemi State. Kemi State. I'm going to pray for you. He said, I should tell you that he's bringing captivity to an end in your life this night. Captivity to an end. You believe it? Let it be yours now. The power of the Holy Spirit. My sister, look at me. Shame and reproach. I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing the face of an old woman. Hold my hands. Let shame and reproach leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ, may the God that I serve lift you. May the God that I serve honor you. Your helper is in Abuja. We will look at you and help you and bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is someone you are from Zuru. Zuru is in Kebi. Zuru Shabalaka Tabalata. Let me just talk to you. 
this children look small here, but I'm seeing. Hold on, hold on. They are here. One is who is this one? These ones are your children. I'm looking at this one. Is she married? She is married. Because I'm seeing a ring. And I'm seeing a ring, but I'm not hearing the sound of a child. And the Lord is saying a child should come now. Two years, two years. Two years. Where is the person? Come. No woman. There's no woman. Call the person's name now. No children. Two years. No children. We are going to pray. She's not here. This is your son. He's the one here in the Okay, meeting. you standing for them. Mama, why should you give birth to children and not see your grandchildren? Somebody shout, no way. Shout it again, no way. The Bible says you will see your children's children. That's scriptures. It didn't say you will see them on your deathbed. You will see them and dance and rejoice with them. Mama, do you believe if I pray for this lady now? She will come back and testify here with a child. I believe in Jesus' name. It will happen. You believe. What's her name? Her name is Adama Isa. Adama. Adama. In the name of Jesus, become pregnant. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This one. Yeah, the medium. This is the one. No, no, I'll pray for him. This one is again. Winter. Winter. In the name of Jesus, I declare you are blessed. Mama. Sometimes, diabetes, Hold on. Ulcer, I will pray for you. you have fibroid, yes. you have diabetes, yes. you have ulcer. Yes, sir. What does this look like? You see how the devil is fibroid, diabetes, ulcer. A woman like this, then her own children, barrenness. Then this one, there's no speed in your life. Come and stand here. You are you that you are the gentleman, there's serious retrogression. I have to pray for you. Huh? You love God, but you are not moving forward at all. I have to pray for you. Is that true, Mama? Okay. Okay. Repeating, repeating. That's what I'm saying. It's not moving forward. Yes, sir. You believe in the message I just preached that God is a restaurant. I believe. My Jesus. Mother, it's not that you are lazy. There is a spirit that manipulates your results. You are being repeating forever. I have to pray for you. Lift your hands. You are the one I will start with first. Father, let it end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands on your mind and I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mama, that's it. It's over in the name of Jesus. I pray for this, your children. Pray for this. Where is he? My husband. Yes. We were from Plato State. We live in Kano. Mumta Nebokos. Okay. In Aike, she made it. Yanana Kano. We have to pray for him. Because I'm seeing a serious spirit of delay in his life. We have to pray for him. And I'm seeing he's having a problem already with his wife. This is something we need to pray for. Um, I hope you are not embarrassed. No, no, sir. In the name of Jesus, we pray for you. Mama, let me pray for you. All sad that diabetes, fibroid, and um, and and all sad. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command every single one of them, help her, let it go now. The same way it came, let it go. Every house has an entry and exit. Let this be the exit of this now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. God is removing fiber from someone's stomach. Now, this is what I'm seeing in the spirit. We are going to pray for the sick now very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone, I'm seeing this. I command it now. I command it now to happen. Those malignant groups, I command it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power Spirit, a loud shout is going to be someone with that loud shout. That's the end of it. It comes now, never to be told. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands before we pray for the sick. I want to challenge every strange spirit that is responsible for sabotaging the purposes of God in your life. Lift your hands. As I minister deliverance to you, it doesn't mean you are possessed. No, no. The operations of demons is such that they can take advantage of mechanisms, provisions in the realm of the spirit to manipulate people. I want to pray for you. I have to do this before we start praying for the sick. Inside, outside, I want you to be ready. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Father, anyone under the influence.
influence of any spirit. Please get ready and pray. I see mighty deliverances happening. Any strange spirit in this place that is tying down the destiny of anyone. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. One. to 11 now as I'm praying the power of God is going to come upon that child and the child will start manifesting I'm seeing this is this is some demonic diabolic thing I'm not saying the child is bad I'm just showing you what the Lord is showing me father wherever this child is I pray for our children now whether it is an initiation whether it is anything occultic um, I decree and declare right now by the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ wherever that little child is I command those devils to live now. Yeah. I command those devils to live now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I command those devils to live now. Yeah. Very quickly, we are going to pray for the sick. There are so many things God is doing in the realm of the spirit. There are so many things God is doing. There is a brother. The power of God is going to come on him now. Overflow to the one at the road. Please, I want you to bring him now. I want to talk to him. Overflow 2. I see an angel of the Lord moving across Overflow 2. And the fire of God is falling on a brother. Please, I want that brother to come. 
the fire of God will suddenly fall upon that person. Please let him come. Carry him and, and bring him. I want to prophesy to him. I'm going to give us a prayer point. Now, while we are praying, we are going to ask people to come so that we'll pray for the sick very, very quickly because I want to be able to have time to prophesy. Remember, I spoke about restoration. I want to use time to prophesy. Now, watch this, please. Overflow one, all the overflows, those who are sick in body, I want you to, when, when we finish praying, make your way to your various overflows and wait there. There will be people who will come to minister healing to you. We believe in the ministry of miracles. God has anointed us for this purpose. And by God's grace, we are not too many that we cannot lay hands on people one by one. And that's why we do that. So that everybody will have that sense of, I may not be able to lay hands on people outside, but there are men and, and women of God anointed and they will be able to also minister to you. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you are sensitive outside. I want to pray for that gentleman. That's him. Ah. Let it end now. I stretch my hands towards you. I bring it to an end. There is sorrow upon sorrow on this gentleman's life. The Lord is asking me to wave my hands. It comes to an end now. This guy is not the person. No. Just, just leave him there. At least he has received his own. Who is this one? From outside, overflow two. The person is supposed to be shouting. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let this end. I'm stretching my hands. In the name of Jesus, I command the power of darkness over your life and over your family to be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I breathe the life of God into you and I decree and declare that it comes to an end. I know there are many people here. There is a gentleman. Please, I don't do these things to disgrace people. But there is a gentleman here. Um, you are thoroughly addicted to taking. You know, you always hear me say that thing. What's the name of that thing? That codeine. But your own is not just codeine alone. It's plus. Whether smoke, um, some of these funny things. You are here and... You are tired of it, but you cannot stop. Please, where are you? Please don't waste our time. There's a gentleman that I need to pray for. Seems to me like that person is outside, inside. Please, if you are here, don't be embarrassed. I want to help you end this. I know there are many people, but there is a specific person God is talking to me about. Let's just flow as a Holy Spirit to stop him, please. That gentleman, I want you to come out here, and I want to lay my hands and end it. You are tired of it, but you can't stop. No matter what you do, that's what you spend your little money on. And this thing is crushing your life and destroying your destiny. Where are you? Let's appreciate it. Hallelujah. Listen, look at me. Jesus said, he who does not have sin should cast the first stone. When we call people like this, we don't condemn people. I love you with all my heart. The meaning of my name is the way to love. I love people. You look at these gentlemen. You can see the way their lives are. You see how disorganized they are. This is the devil. If we don't pray for these people, this gentleman one day will become a father. It doesn't matter. I prophesy for one is for all. Come and join them. I want to pray for you now. Please, one minute. If you are if you are still thinking about it, just remain there. But you are saying, man of God, I'm tired of this thing. You have to help me. Quickly join them. God gave a word for one, but I'm praying because we have to pray for the sick quickly. Some of you, nobody led you into it. It's a spirit that just pushed you into this thing. You love God, but this thing is killing you. I salute your courage. I don't know if I would have had the courage to come out. I salute your courage. Come. Let, I think we should honor them. Come on, Koinonia.
Because it does it matter? Of course it does. Of course it does. Of course it does. When I start praying, please don't come out again. If you are still coming, I want you to rush and come. Male or female, I don't care. Whether you are a male or female, it doesn't matter. I, I, I perceive that there are even ladies, male or female. Jesus is setting us free. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It. Please come and stand quickly. Male or female, Koinonia, celebrate them. still coming. Let's give them one more minute. Since God is already talking to them now, let's just take advantage of the anointing here. Apostle, I don't take it all the time. Still join them. You take it. The most important thing is that you take it. Even if it's not all the time, you take it. Join them and let God help you. Look at me, brothers and sisters. I'm your friend. I love you with all my heart. Like I said, you may look at these boys. Please, let me give a disclaimer. Hold on, Mike. Be careful when you look at people's children and just point and think they are bad. These people need help. I interact with these people all the time and they will tell you they don't like it. It's a spirit. Some of them, nobody took, got them into all of these things just by themselves. Some of them had dreams. Some of them had strange encounters. But my Bible says, God bless you. Don't be ashamed. Come and join. Please give them room. Honestly, let's, let's let this happen. Let's let this happen. Let's let this happen. If you are joining, come. The Bible says, for this purpose, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy. That this, this, you see, this smoking and drinking thing is a terrible thing. You carry cough syrup, snuff it till you are almost dying, pass out and come back again and still do it. And then others sell that, that leaf that they tie. You collect it, smoke it and all of that. Look at me. I want to pray for you. And I want to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your coming out here does not make me better than you in any way. Are we together now? We are only, we are only benefactors of the grace and the mercy of God. I'm agreeing with you. Most people complain. Most people gossip about you. I'm not gossiping about you. I want to help you. Koinonia as a family loves you. Now listen, let me challenge all of you, please. After this prayer, huh, all of you are automatically members of prayer department for the next one month. You are welcome to prayer department for the next one month. Praise God. So, this is how we do it here. I won't deceive you that once I just pray for you, you go back and meet those friends. They will laugh at you and laugh at me and say forget about them. And then before you know it, you will go back into those things. One of the laws of of influence is atmosphere. You open yourself to an atmosphere and destroy you. So after I pray for you, um, ushers, what will happen is you can get their names and their details. We we'll forward it to the um, prayer department and then we'll keep following up with you from there. You need to keep praying. You need to keep building your spirit. You need to be taught the word of God. And by God's grace, we're helping you. Some of you here will be doing what I'm doing some years to come. You will hold this mic in the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you here, the ladies, you may be the wives of great men of God, evangelists and apostles. There is no body, there's no such thing as hopelessness. To him that is joined to the living, there is hope. Stretch your hands, saints of God. If you are a mother here, stretch both of your hands. If you are a father here, stretch both of your hands. And say, use them as a point of contact. Whether your children are small or, or not, use them as a point of contact. We pray for you. We are praying for you now. That the power that is responsible for this living will end. I make contact with you. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me 
somebody outside. I may not ask you to come. You stole a phone on Thursday, still with you. Go and return it after this service. Go and return that phone. You love God, but stealing a phone to sell it and causing trouble for somebody is not the way it happens. God can help you and God can bless you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. If I have not touched you, just let me know and I will lay my hands on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I command that spirit to leave you. I command that devil to leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that devil to leave you. I curse. Oh, you are standing in for your brother. Where is he? What a wonderful lady. In the name of Jesus, I use you as a point of contact. As it's happening to you, let it happen to you. And hold on, don't go. Ah, okay, you are directing them. Okay. We decree and declare. Have I prayed for you, gentlemen? In the name of Jesus, all of you are my friends. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we break this addiction from your lives. Join me and say amen. I pray for any association that will not let you serve God. I command those associations from today. Let there be a dissociation between you and them. Jesus. God bless you. Let's appreciate them very quickly. Now, we are going to begin to pray. Have I prayed for them? Have I prayed for you? This guy, you are going to be a man of God. This brother, this gentleman, bring him. This young man is going to be a man of God. Hold my hands. You need guidance and mentorship. There is a call of God upon your life. Huh? That we we and whatever it is that is stealing the call, we cause it now. Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, self time in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that every challenge in my life must come under the authority of Jesus tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Those who are seeking body, I want you to come up now. Those who are seeking body, overflow one, two, three, inside. to bring the healing power of God to people and we're very happy we'll continue to do it some of you are standing for your loved ones God has made this place a, a solution center and we honor him for it now please look up we're going to do two things very quickly um, overflow one you can go to your projector stand overflow two your projector stand overflow three and every other one four just join them somewhere there. Someone will come to pray for you now. Praise the Lord. While they are doing this, how many of us came with our prayer request? Hallelujah. Now, what I want you to do very quickly, those online, you can post it online and uh, we're going to connect with it by faith. If you have not written your prayer request or you've not written for your loved ones, do it quickly. The ushers are going to be waving the, a basket. Please, let's do it orderly. Just wave your prayer request and they'll locate you. You'll drop it there and we'll bring it to the altar while we pray. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ejimi will be outside, overflow one. Pastor Ejimi and Pastor Femi, overflow one. He's going to be praying. Pastor Alpha, you'll go to overflow two. Um, together with Mike. Mike, you follow him, overflow two. Overflow three, Benga, and Promise. Two of you will be at overflow two and uh, overflow three and any other overflow there. Praise the Lord. We'll do it that way. Father, together we release a corporate anointing for miracles, signs, and wonders. We decree and declare right now that as we begin to minister to God's people, do a quick walk. Let incurable situations go. Let cancers go. Let HIV go. In the name of Jesus Christ, anoint everyone, oh God, that you are going to be using to lay hands on these people and let there be dramatic testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, God bless you. Please, let's go very quickly. We have, let's try to see how we can cover. 
over this in 15, 20 minutes. Are we together now? God bless you. Lord, thank you for healings. Thank you for miracles. Worship team, you will help us. Bless us in Jesus' name. Please accept. Listen. Please accept the people laying hands on you, ask you. You don't need to tell them what is wrong with you. Just stand by faith. Praise God. The prophetic is at work. If there is need to prophesy or talk to you, just receive by faith. It doesn't mean we have to touch the area. Just believe by faith. You go and check yourself or call your loved ones. faith. Hallelujah. This is not a ritual that we do. This is a revelation that God gave and an instruction that every miracle service we receive the requests of God's people. No matter how we try to reach everyone we are constrained by time and um, so we are presenting it to the Lord. These are the things that attempt to say Jesus did not die. These are the things that attempt to say the work of the cross was and is a lie. So we bring them before him and we say, Lord, these are the obstacles that stop the revelation of your victory from being established in our lives. And we trust this fire to descend upon them. Stretch your hands by faith. Stretch your hands by faith. Believe it. Believe it. I want you to pray and say the request I'm dropping here is the last one. The last time I will be dropping this request. Please pray. There will we still have more, please. Those online, this is the time you connect with us. Those outside, you can stretch your hand to your, your projectors. God is doing miracles now. Signed unto death by reason of this prayer, they are delivered from death. 
those who have been assigned up to failure by reason of this prayer they are declared a success Lord turn around age long captivities you declared unto us in this miracle service that you are bringing restoration I prophesy that anointing upon this request restore oh God restore oh God restore oh God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let there be strange restorations right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. I want to pray for you. This is the last segment. I want us to connect. Our time is gone. We'll do this very quickly. Please lift your hands as I pray for you. the son of the living God I decree and declare right now every dry book every dry situation every hopeless situation in your life receive life right now in the name of Jesus receive life right now in the name of Jesus receive life right now in the name of Jesus everything called dead in your life dead finances dead relationships, dead career lives. In the name of Jesus, hear the word of restoration. I prophesy, let it come back to life now. I prophesy, come back to life now. Come back to life now. Come back to life now. Every issue that has been a lingering issue for a long time and has refused to leave your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus, let tonight be the last night you will see it. Let tonight be the last night you will see it. He said, these Egyptians that you see today, you will see them no more forever. I command that you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, that is supposed to have opened up to you and we don't know why it has refused to open till now in the name of Jesus at this June miracle service I swing those doors open for you I swing those doors open for you I swing those doors open for you for those who are asking God for direction for the next level beginning from tonight receive encounters that give you direction outside make sure you are connecting receive encounters that give you direction in the name of Jesus Christ I speak over your life every gift that is not yet speaking every grace that is you is still dormant within you spiritual gifts or physical gifts I decree and declare right now I command an awakening right now I command a resurrection right now I command an awakening right now I command an awakening right now hear me every creative ability locked up on anyone here that has not found expression I decree and declare life to your gift life to your ability in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. I want to pray for you there are many people here you are not working in spiritual gifts Paul said, I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that he may be established. I stretch my hands to you. Out of the abundance of help and God's grace and mercy, something is coming upon you now. I decree and declare all nine gifts of the Spirit revealed in Scripture alongside others that have not been recorded at the count of three. Oh God, according to the faith of your people, let there be a distribution right now. One, two, three. Take it right now. Take it right now. Take it right now. Take it 
right now. Take it right now. Step into those gifts. I release it upon you. I open up your spirit. I open up your understanding to be fruitful towards this gift in the name of Jesus. I declare upon you the mantle of favor that has made the difference in the life of ordinary people. Granting them access to platforms, access to people, access to resources. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive that mantle right now. Take that anointing of supernatural favor. I impart it upon your life. I impart it upon your life. Hallelujah. You are the miracle walker. You are the miracle walker. Will you come and do? A miracle, a miracle today You will do a miracle, a miracle today You are the destiny changer You are the destiny changer Will you come and change my destiny My destiny today You will change my destiny Destiny today. The Lord spoke to me a few weeks ago and said, Son, if you continue with me, a time will come you will bring miracles for nations. Nations. You will bring miracles for nations, not just for individuals. And the Lord told me that I am shifting you from cities to territories, territories, territorial unctions where you bring miracles for territories when you step into a territory it doesn't matter the church that hosts you it doesn't matter what meeting brings you if you remain faithful and you remain hungry i will give you that unction for territories why do i say this to encourage you that every one of us who presses genuinely I am surprised when I see how complacent many people are. And I tell them, compared to what are you making this noise? Do you know how many people don't get healed in our meetings? If we knew it, we'd be ashamed of ourselves as men of God. If there are 100 sick people here and 10 people get healed, it's a shame to the anointing. It's not something to brag about and say somebody was healed. I will go back to God crying in sackcloth and ashes and say, Lord, grant me grace. See, let me tell you, these are the kind of people who will be trusted with the power of God. Hallelujah. There is enough unction and grace in this house and available upon this altar to reveal jesus to your situation it's up to your heart to op to be open don't sit down arguing around and wondering will he touch me do you think god would have gathered these people just to play games even if you were god if you saw a crowd gathered like this hungry waiting for you would you leave them that way hallelujah please pray in one minute before we continue and say lord my heart is open don't bow your head pray pray seriously Pray seriously. Sheka para toko sopra teketea. Tenka praska la prasike te prati gere balara balara bal. Lord, it is within your power to wipe my tears. Help them, please. Help those under the anointing there. It is within your power to help me. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. And with your power. 
you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible than the standing here only because you made you made a way when our backs were on the wall and it looked as if it was all gone you made a way and we're standing here only And we're standing here only because you made you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power you perform miracles you perform miracles and there is nothing that's impossible and we stand What is that mountain that has stood before you people of God please hear me if God cannot crumble that mountain then I think he does not deserve to be God but you see the thing is he will not crumble the mountain by default you've got to press with your heart opened genuinely and say Lord please step into my life and do a miracle do a miracle he only responds to the heart that cries. He only responds to the heart that pants after him. You've written several requests and you've prayed. But I want you to cry to the God of heaven and say, Father, give me a visitation. Lift your voice and pray. and get glory out of it lift your voice and pray give me a miracle and let the miracle be an opportunity for you to get glory out of my life let my healing tonight be an opportunity for your name to be lifted let my deliverance tonight be an opportunity for you to be lifted. Waymaker, open a door for me for the sake of your glory. And the struggles in my life. Here is an opportunity for you to be glorified. Are you praying inside, outside?
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. You can vow your way into a miracle by saying, Lord, I vow that if you give me a miracle, I will not be silent with it. Let me tell you, these are the kinds of prayers that God wants. Not a testimony that you brag around and make noise for yourself. You can vow your way into breakthrough and say, Lord, change my story and I must stand before your people to testify. Lift your voice and pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wipe my tears and take the glory. Let them that have mocked your grace upon my life be put to shame through this testimony. Awesome God, how great Thou art! You alone, mighty are Your miracles. Stand in awe of Your holiness, Lord. We You alone, you alone, mighty are your miracles, mighty are your miracles, send it all of your hope. Before we begin to minister, please bring out your prayer request and hold it. We are going to pray for five minutes. If you have not written one, you can write one. Bring out your prayer request. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. We are going to pray. Let me tell you something. We have seen dramatic breakthroughs. It's a revelation that God gave. We are not just writing requests for nothing. People's destinies have changed. God has wiped the tears of families and individuals. Hallelujah. I'd like you to hold your prayer request and in one minute cry and say, Lord, everything, everything written must be turned to a testimony. Not some. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kaparatokata. Thank you. It's not too late to write. Those following online, make sure you have your request. He said, make your request known. Make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, everything. 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 One by one. One by one. 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead one by one by the unction the anointing that is in this house tonight hallelujah hallelujah please keep it down and lift your voice and everything you do not want to see in your life begin to release it to leave you right now before we pray everything 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 you are tired of seeing in your life Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Expect to be healed. Expect to be delivered. Let me tell you something. Deliverance is very powerful when it is done scripturally and is done biblically because it's a separation between men and the forces that cause their problems. There are forces that are responsible for the problems, the challenges in people's lives. There are, there are forces. There are forces. And in a few minutes from now, we are going to begin to pray. I tell you, fire will burn in this place. Fire will burn in this place. And no devil will be able to stand. There are people whose lives must change. That's why we came. That's why we came. That's why we came. That's why we came. One more prayer point and I'll begin to minister. Every spirit responsible for my pain, you are under arrest tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Every spirit. Every spirit responsible for my failures, responsible for the limitation in my life. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everybody. Don't say anything, just lift your hands. Please, everybody, if you can. If you, if you are doing something that doesn't allow you, that's all right. But please lift your hand. Don't allow the devil cheat you in this time, please. Don't allow the devil cheat you. When you hear me ministry, minister like this, is because I'm under the anointing of the Spirit. These are not things I'm doing of my own accord. It is the foolishness of spiritual things that produce results. Keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. The first set of people that God will step into right now are people that God is breaking. I'm seeing, I'm seeing God break delay. I'm seeing chains on people's legs. And the Lord said, just lift your hands and he will locate them by himself. So keep your hands up. Father, I have done what you have told me to do. Right now, inside and outside. Right now. Right now, inside and outside. I stretch my hands. Bring them out. Right now. Everyone whose feet has been chained. Kaparataka. Zekete repose. Barekete bo supaya. I unloose those chains now. I untie those chains now. I untie those chains right now. Bring them out. The second overflow. God is touching a lady so dramatically. Delay, 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 delay. You can't stand the anointing tonight. 
You can't stand the anointing tonight. Oh, there is grace in this house to challenge every altar of delay that has tied down the lives and the destinies of people. You must go forward. You must go forward. You must go forward. You must go forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing altars on fire and the Lord said it belongs to families. Lord, where are the families? Right now, right now, let the fire of God locate them. Right now, where are these families? I stand by this anointing and I command everywhere across this building, every family under the siege of witchcraft, every family under the siege of witchcraft, fire comes upon that altar. fire comes upon that altar God is saving people right now the power of the Holy Ghost is at work in this place. You can't be the same. You can't be the same. Hallelujah. Keep your hands down. God is doing a quick work. Only ladies, lift your hands. Only ladies, lift your hands. Please lift your hands. Ladies represent gates in the spirit. And there are destinies whose gates have been closed. Right now I'm about to speak. In the name of Jesus. Upon every lady here. Upon every lady here. Who the gate has been closed. I command right now be open be open be open many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now sisters you represent gates 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 young and old young and old may those gates be open now may those gates be open now may those gates be open now May those gates be open now. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Lift your hands. The Lord is showing me something very... I've prayed about this in one miracle service. There are people here whose destinies have been exchanged for others. I pray right now, wherever they are, at least 40 people, 40 people, wherever they are right now, I command a reversal. I command a reversal. Fire, fire, fire falls upon people fire every destiny that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit every destiny that has been exchanged in the name of jesus every load you are carrying that is not yours in the name of jesus it returns back to the sender Everything must come down. 
Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Hallelujah. I tell you, miracles are happening here. Mighty, mighty miracles. Mighty miracles. Mighty miracles. All those out here, all the spirits tying down your destinies at the count of three, this is miracle service. They live now. I speak in the realm of the spirit. One, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out of them. Go forever. Release their destinies. Chains be broken. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. No spirit will hide today. The power of God is strong in this place to bring strange visitations. Lift your hands, everyone. There are men. It's not just that you are delayed. You are not even moving at all. I want to pray. And the prayer I'm praying now is an unction that will begin to move people forward. An unction that will begin to move people forward. But first, the strong man that has kept families down must be dislodged. Lift your hands. I pray right now. Whoever is under the influence of any spirit and any power that is causing any retrogression and non-progress. Right now as I pray, fire comes upon them. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, take the fire now. Take the fire now. Take the fire now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone they brought here. I don't know if the person has a mental problem or is mad. Is there someone like that? There's someone they brought like a mental problem. Mad. A mad person. Where is the person? Bring the person. It's time for a miracle. This is a mad person. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You are the crown. You are the crown. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You are the crown. You are the crown. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a man that they brought here. It's like he has a problem walking very well. Is there someone like that? It's like he has a problem walking very well. A man, I don't know if there's pains or is that he cannot walk completely. Is there such a person, please? We have to hurry up. I want us to finish in good time. Is there such a person? Hold on. Let me just, is there such a person? Outside. He can't walk. He can't walk. He's paralyzed. Huh? What?
Who brought him? Come, come quickly, please. What's the situation? What's the situation? Listen, sir. Please, as loud as you can. Joseph recently, last week I visited him then at Kano with his wife and they informed us in the village that he's paralyzed. This man is a policeman. You say policeman? No, we forget I'm seeing... his cardigan for, from Kano. So we call okay. the, he's a custom I'm seeing him where, okay. He's a custom officer. What's wrong with him now? Presently now can he cannot... hear me? We can hear you, sir. Boy. Can Oga, you talk and have... look at me. Can you hear me? No, no, hold on. Can you hear me? Where are you from? Kano, you yes. came from Kano. Yes, sir. Look at me, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. Since when could he not walk? Wife, come, please. This is your husband for how long? This is almost a month now. But the leg is just two weeks now. The legs is two weeks. Yes. It's okay. I'm seeing stroke in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The first miracle is for him to hear what I'm saying. Something has affected his mind. He cannot even hear. Huh? He can't even talk. He can't hear. He can't talk. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that deaf and dumb spirit to leave you. To leave you. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Can you hear how, sir? Huh? Look at me. Can you look at me? Try to move your legs. Can you? Can you try to move your legs? Can you try to do what I'm doing? Try to move your legs. Talk to him that I want to pray for him. Who is this? That's so Why are they here? Hold on, please. Uh, 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 uh. Let please. Only the case I call. Don't just. We are going to pray for people. What's wrong? What's wrong? This lady is mad. Yes. Since he, when? Yes. Yeah. Who knows you, madam? He, he, are, are you in Zaria here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Her case is mental. Now I started the the disaster for hospital. Now the thing, the thing they they do. It's like epilepsy. It is like epilepsy, so it affected her brain. Yes. You can imagine. Hold my hands, Father. I command that spirit to leave mad spirit go now you will let this girl go in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ out of her now out thank you jesus just lie her down she's going to get up Sir, I'm, I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing witchcraft because I'm looking at a man who is already dead. Not even that he's dying. Somebody that they've already killed, he's already dead. Get a chair and keep him, let him sit down and you pray. What you guys will do is just try to talk to him. I need him to hear what I'm saying because I want him to lift his leg. Can he see me? Madam, you are his wife. You will, you will help us eh? and be talking to him. Give him a seat, please, so that we don't waste time. Daddy, you're welcome, sir. From where, sir? What's the issue? Who brought him out? I came with my neighbors. What's the issue, sir? Okay, is the mic working? Is the mic working, Lawrence? His mic. Sir, can you hear me? I can hear Please you. come. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a problem. Um, have you gone to the hospital, sir? You've gone to the hospital. Yeah, I've gone to the hospital. Who has glaucoma? It's me. You. You are yes. the one who has glaucoma. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a writing on your head and it's yes. written glaucoma. Yes, sir. That you have glaucoma. Yes, sir. This problem started like eye problem. Yes, sir. Then it moved to your hands. Yes, sir. And now it's on your leg. Yes, sir. And it's like stroke. Yes, you will be healed right now. Amen. The Lord Himself Amen. is going to perfect Amen. you. Amen. Daddy, hold this mic. Shout, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. Declare. Now, now, stroke, stroke. Live my life. Live my life. Blindness. Blindness. Live my life. Live my life. Now, now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Please come name. up and jump. Come, come up, come up, come up. 
Go ahead. Do what you believe. Do what you believe. Do what you believe. Go. Walk. Also has an eye condition. Please look, sir. Can you see people? I can see people. Could you see them before? Yeah, but I can't recognize them. You can't recognize them. But now, can you recognize them? I can see them, but not fully recognition. Sir? Not fully recognition. No full recognition. The Lord has started something in his life. He could not. I mean, glaucoma and then down to stroke. You can see him still limping. Daddy, in the name of Jesus, you came with somebody. Where's the person? Who came with him? You are wearing a white scarf on your head. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Come. You are the one. Is this your father? No, sir. My neighbor. Your what? My neighbor. Oh, daddy, she's your neighbor. We are going to pray. And then God will bless you a thousand times. I'm going to pray for you. Daddy, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of the enemy. The power of the enemy. Over my life. Over my life. Will not die. Will not die. Be made whole right now in the name of Jesus. Please exercise yourself and go in your liberty. The Lord perfects your body in the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, I'm going to pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Help her, please, in the name of Jesus. How can a, a lady like this, planning her life like any other person, now this girl is mad. You look at this. This is real madness. It's not like it's a child's play. Eh? She came back from the office on Monday. Then she started the She came back from the office she mad. Said, yeah. You see, let me tell you. Look at this. It's one thing to leave your house quietly. The Bible says there are arrows. She came back from the office where? On Monday. And then I heard just, can you imagine? You got up and went to work and came back mad. This is the world we live in. Are we together now? Let me tell you, wickedness is very, 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 very real. Very real very real mama that woman in on yellow please come i don't know you but the lord is saying that your joy needs to be restored one two why am i seeing you there's a line between you and that lady with red this one holding your hands what is the relationship between two of you come my friend she's your friend you came together yes. i'm seeing a light left you and to her and then the lord is saying i should pray for you because it's the same thing two of you are going through we have to pray for you number one your joy your joy needs to be restored and then number two your health you are feeling pain in your stomach i have to pray for you so that they will tell you five Carriage. words mm -hmm, madam let me talk to you now did you tell me miscarriage no. because i'm seeing something growing huh and it's paining you and this thing will make you to be bleeding unusually it's fibroid you are bleeding unusually and this thing is not just miscarriage because for the miscarriage a man appears to you in the night and once you see that man the next thing is you have miscarriage but we are going to pray madam can i pray for you where are you from ben benway ben, boy, stay in Zara. you stay in daraka let me pray for you madam the Lord needs to restore your joy because there are things I cannot say here but one of your major requests is the fruit of the womb is that true the fruit of the womb and I see you even praying that if possible let God give you twins yes sir is that true yes sir. and you are asking that the Lord will give you twins yes sir and I'm going to pray for you yes, because those twins will pray that God will give Amen. It to you. you believe it I'm not a herbalist Lay your hands on your stomach. We have to pray. There's a man that appears to you. This is demonic. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant, I set you free from all this nonsense around your life. In the name of Jesus. Ma, I pray for you. You desire children. God will not just give you children. May he give you twins. In the name of Jesus. And that formation of fibroid in your body, we cause it right now. You are feeling like fire is moving around your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
a supernatural miracle for you in the name of Jesus let me pray for you ah you're not married are you married um, because I, I wanted to pray the same thing and the Holy Ghost is telling me you are not married but you are about to marry there's somebody in your life he has engaged you eh? is that true? Yes. who is the person? He has engaged. is that true? you are engaged to marry so I, I have to pray for you Kai, my sister don't be offended though there's serious witchcraft in your family I'm seeing this witchcraft coming from where is Otuko? In eh? Benue State. What do you have to do with Otuko? There is one of my own people, but me, I'm from Otuka. Mm -mm. Just answer what I'm telling you. What do you have to do with Otuko? Who is there? He's my own. Father, in the name of Jesus, your marriage will be successful. Look at me. I don't know how you do this, but don't allow them to do anything on you that is demonic in the name of marriage. I'm seeing something that has to do with you and a tree. Just, I don't know what I'm saying, but be careful. In the name of excitement of traditional marriage, they initiate people into nonsense and rubbish. I pray that the Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Please lift your hands. I want to pray. Um, God wants to do a very spectacular miracle in this place right now. There is someone here you completely cannot see with your right eye completely cannot see with your right eye but a miracle is going to happen right now completely cannot see with your right eye wherever that person is in the name of jesus i command that you begin to see with that eye now i command that you begin to see with that eye now i command that you begin to see with that eye now please check yourself very quickly check yourself very quickly while we're doing that there are there are a number of people and when i pray for you if you get healed and you, and you, you find out that you're in that category just come out quickly let's save time i want to pray for people right now i'm seeing people who have been having severe pain around the chest region like your heart yes some of you when you wake up in the morning severe pain severe pain the lord is healing those people right now right now please check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here there is a miracle happening to somebody right now check yourself severe pain are along the heart region miracles are happening right now right now as i speak only those who are healed of this miracle make your way to the front i see a miracle happening to somebody right now make your way to the front celebrate them they are coming celebrate them they are coming jesus is touching people your chest i see a miracle around the heart region very quickly please save our time jesus is killing people right now koinonia is this how you celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles the chest area there is power Power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Check it right now. Is there any pain? Is there any pain? No, sir. Like, look at the boy, he's even crying. How long? Quickly, just testify one minute. Quickly, turn face the crowd. Quickly, like, it's okay. You don't have to cry. Up to more than four years. The pain comes as if when I'm breathing. When you are breathing, you feel the pain. And right now, check it. Do what you couldn't do. Completely, no pain. In the name of Jesus, that miracle never returns to you again. Mama, any pain? Let's take a few tests. No pain. Completely. How long has it been? It has been there for years. For more than five three more than five years yes, please yes. check it now we want you to confirm look at this look at this completely the pain is gone the anointing is even on her help her please help her how long my dear please those who have been healed just come here quickly we'll give you some
Just turn, face the crowd very quickly. Organize yourselves, please. Ushers, help them. How long has it been? What's your name and how long? About two years ago. How is the pain like? What is describing for us very quickly? As Don't worry. She's, she's after, just here. Be after patient. I eat, after I eat food, uh -huh. then I'll restore my Then you'll chest. be struggling your chest. Is, it, is there pain now? Mm -hmm. Is there pain? Check it. Make sure you are telling the truth. If you lie, we'll clap for you, but you are the one who will suffer. Praise God. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. All of you, all of you healed of that pain. Lift your hands. Let me pray for all of you right now. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracle. It never returns. 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 Give Jesus praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. My goodness. I just saw a spectacular miracle in the realm of the spirit. There is someone here who has just been healed of pile. Please check it. I want you to come and testify. You will be very surprised. Pile has just been healed right now. Right now, supernaturally. Pile has been healed. Please, if you can check yourself, I would like you to check yourself. Let someone check you so that it is not a lie. Pile with intense pain. And God is healing that person right now. Check yourself. And when you check yourself, please let me have the person come forward. And then we'll come and testify. And God will give you a dramatic, dramatic, dramatic miracle. Pile, make sure you check and let the person come out. In the name of Jesus. There is a lady at Overflow 2. Not the first one, the other Overflow. Um, your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. Please, if there is such a lady like that, can you quickly run before we start ministering to cast out every devil and pray for the sick? God is touching people. Please, the person with pile, go and check yourself. A lady with the name Blessing. You are wearing white, white jack like sweater. Is there somebody like that? Blessing. Outside, overflow too. Where is she coming from? Please, always confirm. Where are you coming from? The other overflow. What's your name? Blessing. Where, is, where are you from? Hold my hands. God is going to give you a miracle and he's also delivering your family. Your family needs deliverance. Huh? Your family needs deliverance. Hold my hands. For God to have located you is because he loves you. Be set free right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm hearing the name of someone and you are my namesake. Your name is Joshua. You are outside. Please come in. You are outside. Come in. God is bringing deliverance to this lady and her family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A supernatural miracle. God is bringing deliverance for her family. They will never be the same. There are four of you that are supposed to be here with this name. Four of you. Please stand here, all of you. hallelujah i'm going to pray for you come god is going to use you huh god is going to use you mightily i'm going to pray for you my friend you you love god but god needs to help you huh do you hear how sir kajiko you have bad friends we are going to pray for you huh in the name of jesus sir look at me god is going to help you who is a trader in your family mother eh? my mother what does she trade my mom God wants to change her story. Amen. Hold my hands. You are going to start having strange revelations. And an anointing is going to come upon your life. Right? As I'm speaking to you now. An angel of the Lord. You will feel something like a crown being put on your head. It's a mantle. It doesn't mean you should just go and start ministry. But it's to tell you that God will use you very mightily. Father, confirm your word in his life never be the same in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ tell your mother that a prophecy has come for the family that God is about to lift the family are you hearing what I'm saying and you look like an ordinary person but you are going to hold a lot of money in your hand there is an unction there is grace for finances upon you there is grace for finances upon you where's a Jimmy please he's going to go let him lay his hands on you there's grace for finances that will come upon you and you will never be the same. 
I have to pray for you. You love God, but you are in here, you are out here, you have bad friends. Come, follow me. Your friends are not good people. Where are you? Where are you? You are in Samaru here? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You love God? Yes, sir. Is it too much of a price to leave your bad friends? It's too much. Ah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray because God wants to use you as a savior to your family. Are we together? But you see, hold on, please. Let me talk to you. If you really want to be great in life, it doesn't matter whether you grew up with the same people. You must have the courage to tell some people, I love you. I'm not, I don't have a problem with you. But since you are not just going my direction, let me tell you, you can't play games with God. And, and, and you, God is not a herbalist that you pray abracatabra with. If you are serious with God, then go for him. Are we together? I love you. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that every spirit of rebellion will live your life. In the name of Jesus. There is... Hmm, this is... This is I don't know why God is giving me this kind of instructions here. Please don't feel embarrassed. There are two boys and one lady. Two gentlemen and one lady here. You need to be prayed for. You have an uncontrollable appetite for stealing. Please don't be embarrassed. Ordinarily, I would not ask you to go out. There are two of them. It's not like you're a bad person. Anything you see, you must carry. One lady and two guys. Please come out. We're just going to give one minute. There are so many things we need to do. This is a revelation God is giving me. Please, this is a family of faith. We're not saying you're a thief. But this has brought so much trouble to you. Please, whether you are inside or outside, don't be embarrassed. There is a lady in this list and there are two gentlemen wherever you are please as you hear the word of the lord make your way to the front you need to be delivered you have tried to stop using willpower it's an addiction you don't use willpower to end supernatural things make your way to the front and i'll be glad to pray with you make your way there's somebody like that i'm i want to pray for this guy but god is saying i should wait for that case there's somebody like that let's celebrate him you are the one there's one more gentleman and a lady one more gentleman and a lady please there's nothing to be ashamed of this is a family of faith please very quickly just one minute there's there's so many other things we have to do Sata stealing no matter what happens you can't stop it where's the other brother please don't delay us it doesn't take time to know you have this problem because it's a challenge that you've been trying to solve let me tell you something you see ba these things are spirits it's not whether you are a thief or not if it comes upon you it will make you act that way you may not even use what you are carrying but you will still carry it anyway please where is the last person don't delay us let's pray come let me pray for you before I pray for them. The last person, quickly, summon the courage to come and join them very quickly so that I can minister to you. The Lord will anoint you. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's restoring your family. Huh? Where are you from? I don't know why God is visiting Benway State today. Where are you from? From Benway State. God is visiting Benway people in very strange ways. It's like the miracle service is for Benway people. Benway people. There's a lady self from Benway who is going to be under the anointing now. As a testament of this thing I'm saying. Hi, this God. I don't know. I don't know. This is my God. Make sure she's from Benway. Where is she from? No, 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 no. Don't, don't worry. Don't feel embarrassed, my dear. I love you and I'm very proud of you. Right? Look at me. Can you go? Come. You love God, but there's one boy around you. Send him a text this night that Joshua Selman said he should never come around you again. Hmm? 
don't feel bad. This, this, I'm not, I don't hate people. But number one, this boy is a, is a small boy. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Two, um, please, there are things I cannot say here. Huh? Are you ready for a child now? Huh? Yes. She's saying yes. Uh, no. Okay, well, who knows? I mean, Mary was 14 years when she had Jesus. So, please, but on a, on a serious note, huh? You love God, you are a serious lady, but there's something on you that makes bad boys. Bad boys, the moment they see you, you look at them, you look at their eye, you know that they are not serious Christians, and they keep coming to you. But there's one that's been disturbing you. Send him a text and say, Joshua Selman said, please, please, he, he should come for, bring him for Koinonia next week. Let God help him. Yes, instead of driving him, let God help him. Are we together? So I'm going to pray for you. Listen, there are many more people who are bigger thieves that have refused to come out. Are we together? So don't ever be embarrassed. You see, when you ever point one finger at people, make sure that others, be sure that others are pointing at you. I want to pray for you so that you'll be free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Where's our Benway lady? Careful, please bring her. I want to use her to speak a prophetic word. There was a time it was Kogi, right? Remember. So today God has decided, hold my hands. No, 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 the other hand. I want to pray. Watch what happens now. It's called signs and wonders. These ones are not miracles. They are signs and wonders. They are faith boosters. The Lord is with this lady visiting Benway people right now. Visiting Benway people right now. Right now, God is visiting Benway people. Those altars now. Now, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, every territory of Benway that has tied the lives of people down, I hold this lady as a point of contact inside and outside. The anointing of God will fish them out by power. Shake it, take it, bakata. Embrekete, lekete. I command those altars. Those altars. You come under siege tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. Listen. You will watch all these people come to testify. They may not even know what is happening to them. You are not just falling for nothing. And you don't even have to fall for it to show that something is happening in your life. But there are visitations that God is giving people. Grace in your life and your family. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I command that spirit to leave you forever. No appetite for stealing. Not only is God delivering you from stealing, lust leaves you now. In the name of Jesus. Every lust leaves you now in the name of Jesus. My brother, I command a miracle for you right now. Give me your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody here. You stole fuel. You stole fuel. And this thing brought a problem, but you kept quiet. It's a spirit. God wants to set you free. Please don't feel embarrassed. Fuel, like um, fuel, PMS. I don't know if it's, you know, fuel for something. I don't know what it's for. But you, you found yourself stealing that fuel to do something with it. I don't know what it's for. Please, I want to pray for you because the person you took that thing from pronounced a curse. Are we together? Please, that's why I want to pray for you. We have to pray right now and then I'll, I'll minister to the sick. Please, if there is such a person, I want you to come out or maybe someone you know. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You're seeing us praying for people. You stole fuel. It may not be that you are a bad person. You see, fundamentally, 
people are not bad situations pressures and spirits make people act in certain ways that may look disdainful and embarrassing you must be spiritual to be able to love people in spite of their flaws are we together there's somebody like that oh there's somebody like that the holy ghost is still speaking to me there's somebody like that please have the courage to come forward as we begin to pray don't meet me after the service please there is grace and unction to pray for you right now this has to do with fuel that you carried i don't know whether you sold it or you gave it to someone or something like that but then we have to pray for you 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 everyone lift your voice no god is saying i should stop till the person comes out who is the person please my brother look at me i'm not i'm not i'm not um, embarrassing you right is the flesh that caused this embarrassment but you see when god shines light on you it's not unto condemnation are we together he said he who does not have sin should cast the first stone so we're not people who come and embarrass people and condemn them the person you took the foil put a curse upon you and the curse is that nothing you enter will stay in your hand and that's what i want to take away from your life that's why i brought you out are we together now in the name of jesus christ it took a man to pronounce this curse be free now by the power of the holy ghost i command that it leaves you forever 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 i take away that pronouncement from your life in the name of jesus you love the lord with all your heart and you walk in his ways god bless you please stand up and go hallelujah i'm about to minister to the sick right now very quickly and while i do, you can you can just bring the lady to the front i'm still praying for her hallelujah sister talk to her sister my dear look at me look at me how are you how are you are you fine what's wrong with you you don't know that's how she has been oh that's how she behaves she hears you yes, she, she actually is. hears you when you speak but she won't be able to respond do you know why she's not wicked she's under bondage and we're going to pray for her right there's a reason why i ask you to keep her here i keep laying my hands on her from work she came back i'm praying i don't know who did this thing but in the name of Jesus, as he's leaving you, it will land on that person's head. <laughs> Some of you don't like the prayer I'm praying. I say it again. Whoever brought this, it must land on the head of the person. It's because they didn't do it to your sister or to your brother. That's why you leave your office and return mad what if she's the breadwinner of her family that whole family has come under siege let me pray before we let me prophesy to you before we pray in the name of jesus any human agent who has partnered with the realm of the spirit to bring the pain in your life i pray this night is a night of judgment for them this night is a night of judgment for them i say it again this night is a night of judgment for them this night is a night of judgment. I command judgment for them. I command judgment for them. Shake it, 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 it. Judgment for them. Judgment for them. Any human agent, I say it responsible for your pain. I command judgment for them. while we ask the sick people to come out please if you came here trusting god for healing now is your moment while they are doing that please let's have all the prayer requests just something has happened to her just carry her and put her aside somewhere make your way to the front quickly please organize yourself now is the time for healing very quickly while they are doing that please all of you write your request listen hold on please I allow you to switch off your switch on your phones if you need to and call your loved ones to forward their request for you please you can type it quickly and send it here it's not enough that you've written your request please 
if you even know the request of some others you can write it and put their names because we are going to pray for those requests hallelujah you move mountains you cause walls to fall help me you perform miracles there is nothing Standing only because you one more time you move mountains, you cause walks to fall with your power. You perform me there is nothing that's impossible. Worship team, you are going to help us. Look how many people have come to be healed. I thank God because God has found a place where he can communicate his healing power to his people. Now, we are going to be very, very fast. This is not for the rest of us to be distracted. Everyone, you should be writing your prayer request and you should be praying. Because after this session, there is going to be a massive impartation. There is, there is need for grace and unction for us. And so we're going to pray. Hey, Jimmy, please come help me. We're going to be praying for the sick. Please, listen. It doesn't matter who prays for you, whether myself or hey, Jimmy, there's a corporate anointing, okay? So we're praying for you. Um, the moment they pray for you, don't leave one line and come and join another one. Just a touch. You don't even have to say what is wrong with you. If we ask you, that's all right. If we don't, please. If there's a prophetic word, you will be given. If you are not given any word, some of you, when I touch you, you now get angry because I didn't prophesy. Look, let me tell you something. This thing, you don't do it just the way you want to do, at least not for me. Are we together? So, you, it has, if there is no word for you, just believe. And then when hands are laid on you, don't just go back to your seat smiling. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do before. If you have to go to the hospital, then you should go to the hospital for test. Are we together? And if there are still people sitting down and not coming out because of the crowd, please make sure you join them. There is a reason why we lay hands like this. I don't do this in other meetings, but then so that we can make contact. Worship team, help us do the best you can. God bless you. Father, let there be miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. Hold on, please. How many months pregnant are you? Eight months. We have to pray. I'm seeing them cutting you. CS, but we have to pray for you. They gave me the list. They gave you the list. Yes, yes. Do you believe God can turn things around? Yes. Cry. There is a God that we serve. Immediately I looked at you. I saw them cutting you with a knife. Huh? Don't cry. I don't know what the doctor said, but in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle for you. The baby will adjust to his normal position and he will come out the way he should come out, like the Hebrew women. In the name of Jesus Christ, a supernatural miracle is happening to you right now. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Go ahead. God bless you. When I pray for you, go back to your seat. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. Heal now. Standing here, not knowing how we'll get through the steps. Miracle for you, in the name. But holding on to faith, you know best. In the name of Jesus, healing for you. By surprise, you got this figured out, and you're watching us now. And when you look as if we can win, you wrap the sea in your arms and step in. 
and everything we need you supply you've got this in control now we know that you made a way when a box were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you you made Standing here breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. You, you came for it, breakthrough. Way. You are entering the realm of breakthrough, supernatural breakthrough, not just healing, but breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I open the doors right now in the name of Jesus. She's carrying a child, please. Only because you made and we're standing here. Carry the baby, please. Only because you made. We're standing here only because please, if someone if someone is backing a baby as they are laying hands on the person, ushers, please help so that you move the mountains. Uh -huh. Lord, you move the mountains. Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. The meeting is still on. In the name of Jesus. I declare that every power that wants to stop my testimony, the Lord rebuke you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You are doing yourself good when you are praying. You are doing yourself good when you are praying. You must testify. They're singing that every power, every high thing must come down. So you pray. Let her go now. Out! 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 Go! Are you praying? I turn to testify in this season and every power that will stop me from testifying I come against it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus come on shout it inside and outside in the name of Jesus every legal access that the devil has over my life and over my family 
by the blood of Jesus that access is broken lift your voice and pray 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 every access please make sure you are praying this is part of the meeting every legal access the devil has over my life by the blood of the eternal covenant by that which Christ has done on the cross I come against it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. My door. To the next level. Hear the word of the Lord. Be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Command that door to open. The access point. To the next level of my life and destiny. I command you to be open. I command you to be open. Revelation 3 verse 8. I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Are you praying? Your feet as you stretch your hands on this prayer request, Lord. It must be turned to a testimony. Lift your voice and pray. I'm praying on your request. There is a covenant of answered prayer in this house. We invoke that covenant. My covenant will I not break nor alter the thing which is gone from, from my lips. Shake it, take 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 let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Supernatural miracles. Breakthroughs. 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 Shepokoto Breketel. Eketekoto Shotokotosh. Makata 
Hallelujah. Join me shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus. Is that the best in the name of Jesus? The Bible says, Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Parakatakata. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every request that has been dropped before the God of heaven, we turn it into a testimony now. We turn it into a testimony now. Be turned into a testimony now. Be turned into a testimony now. Between now and the next miracle service, strange answers, strange answers, strange answers, strange answers. The way I'm walking upon this prophetically, in the name of Jesus, that's how you will walk upon every challenge. I step upon it prophetically. Everything that has mocked God, as I step upon it, as help them please, as I step upon it by prophecy, I decree in the name of Jesus that that's how you rise above the challenges. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. There will be a drastic impartation here right now. Just five minutes and we're done. Drastic impartation. Listen, the anointing that is coming upon you is an anointing upon your gift. It's time for what you carry to speak. Lift your hands, everyone. In the name that is above all names, at the count of three, my God, a massive impartation. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Receive that impartation upon your gift. That impartation all over this building is yours for the taking. It's yours for the taking. Produce results. Produce results. Produce results. Hallelujah. Listen. The unction for supernatural results in the name of Jesus that your results are not ordinary. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office and I command at the count of three let it fall like rain supernatural results one two get ready three take it take it take it take it supernatural ministry supernatural business supernatural family oh, oh, oh. help me nobody like you Of results you have not seen in your life your business and your ministry I prophesy to you go and produce that result from today go and produce that result from today from today I prophesy it I program it upon your spirit go and catch fire whatever has refused to work in your life you have tried and tried and it has refused to work by this unction tonight we force it to work in the name of jesus hear me all those trusting god for jobs you have done everything you know to do the door is not opening in the name that is above all names go and get your miracle job go and get your miracle job Go and get your miracle job.
every family going through stress and tension you don't even know what to do i pray right now the force responsible for the pain in your family tonight judgment upon them judgment upon them judgment upon them judgment upon them hear me every idea every concept you need to rise to the next level of your life i pray for you in your dream in your sleep through visions may those ideas be revealed to you help them please i want to pray for students now the kind of exams you have never written in your life the kind of cgpa the kind of breakthrough take it now take it now take it now take it now help them take it now take it now hear me every spirit that makes you blank when you are writing exams it comes under fire now it comes under fire now whoever is holding your breakthrough the key to the next level of your life in the name of jesus between now and the next miracle service they must look for you i prophesy it they must look for you hear me you will not look for them they will find their way and look for you i pray for you everyone here who has developed his gift what you need is for god to send those who have what it takes to honor it i pray for you listen hear me there is a way you can preach before men who don't need your grace they will rubbish your ministry and make you look like an idiot there is a way you do business in the presence of those who don't even have what it takes to value what you carry but i'm praying for you there is an unction that directs men only to those who can pay for what they carry rabbi help him help him help him help him help him help him in the name of jesus that grace may that anointing direct you right now right now right now right now right now right now everything that has refused to grow here whatever god has given you that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names i command it to grow now i command it to grow now i command it to grow now let me speak over your finances many of you have given many of you have sown seeds but the harvest is being trapped somewhere i pray for you the force that releases the harvest of men i command that force to be at work for you now 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 hallelujah whatever covers your glory for men to see and bless you you are walking physically but it's ikabot the glory is covered as a young lady you are beautiful but there's nobody to say i want to marry you i command that fail covering your glory be open now be open now be open now be open now arise shine arise shine arise shine
Hallelujah. Two more prophetic words and we're done. It says, and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. In this season, you need direction. Everything is not the way to go. Hear me. Please hear me. There are people right now, your bailout is to know what God wants you to do. That he told you to do it yesterday does not mean he's still saying do it. You need a fresh instruction. I open your spiritual ears. Your sense of perception, your sense of perception, your sense of discernment. Be open now. Be open now. Finally, I pray for you. Everything that is upon this ministry is supposed to show in your life. So if there is honor, honor is when God positions men who discern what you represent and openly celebrate it. It's called honor. Honor is not something you lobby for. It's not a political position. He said you shall call the sons of Aaron and you shall take some of your honor and give them. Joshua, sorry. I want to pray for you. Listen. Do you know what honor is? Let me tell you the truth. Honor is better than money. Money can give you things, but it may not give you honor. Honor is when men can rise up and fight for you because they want to preserve what you represent. It's called honor. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. There are people who do not have honor in their life. Let me tell you how you know there is no honor in your life. There is no helper. Honor is when men can stand before you and say, before you touch him, you must touch us. Honor. When a ministry does not have honor, you beg for everything, you pay for everything, you explain everything. Honor is when men, God puts men at the gates to plead your cause. You are there praying and somebody is clearing any bad air about you. Any bad impression about your ministry. There is always a voice to say, no, the hand of God is upon them. It's called honor. I pray for you. What has made you fight alone? When things go wrong, you explain alone. Nobody to help you. Listen, this is not about prosperity. This is about the ministry of men. I have seen this in my life. There is such a thing called the gift of men. Where God will raise men strangely. Everywhere you go, that there must always be a man to advocate for you. It's an unction. Otherwise, whenever things go well or go wrong, you pay for it by yourself. Whether things go bad or things go well, you pay for it. It's because that honor is not there. Are we together? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Receive that prayer from the depth of your spirit. Because it will change your life. The grace that God has put by covenant upon this house. He said that I, he entered a covenant with David. That there will never be a man. The throne will never lack a man. I pray for you. At every point of your life. Those who must arise for you. I bring them into your life. Through the mantle of honor. Through the mantle of honor. May that anointing come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. In your going out. In your coming in. Be honored. Be honored. Listen. Everywhere you enter. That grace that distinguishes men. Let it come upon you. Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless you. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. 
give us five minutes please everyone no moving around there are people here who need to give their lives to Christ hear me the Bible says that this is a testimony that God has given us eternal life and that this life is in his son please pay attention concentrate no moving around it says he that has the son has eternal life there are two groups of people right now I want you to rush out here quickly those who have never committed their hearts to Jesus you have never at any point in your life surrendered totally I don't care how many times you have come for altar call you have not made a genuine decision for Jesus number two there are those who have given their lives to Christ but the pressures and the vicissitudes of life have pushed you to a point where you have derailed in your walk with God and you are saying man of God I need restoration wherever you are please don't waste our time our time is gone the Lord is calling you right now and I want you to make a genuine commitment rise up and walk to the front right now rise up and walk to the front right now inside and outside God bless you people are coming God bless you people are coming please clear the way for them run like there's fire on the mountain in all the overflows all those following us online you may not be able to come out but prepare your heart to make this prayer with us God bless you God bless you God bless you go ahead and say today is the day I will make a decision for Jesus there are still people God is asking to come out don't be ashamed make your way to the front no matter what you have done there is a new beginning for you you're deserving of more 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 hallelujah thank you so much for answering this call i like you to lift your right hand to heaven if you are still joining them please make your way it's not too late we are not reciting a poem this is a serious prayer that will determine your eternal destiny say after me very clearly say lord jesus those online followers say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me and you shed your blood for my sin this night I accept you as my savior and I receive eternal life into my spirit the power of sin and Satan is broken over my life forever from today I'm a child of God I'm saved I'm born again in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you for this ones nobody can come except you draw them I pray that this that they have done as simple as it looks oh God I pray that this will be the reason for them to not only spend their eternal destiny with you but to live victorious lives here on earth in the name of Jesus Christ every power of the flesh of sin of Satan is broken over your life from today you move forward ever and backward never in Jesus name amen and amen thank you so much for making this most noble prayer I like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they will have your details and they will, will communicate you in due course. God bless you. Appreciate them coming on here very quickly. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.